<laughs> and it's pretty funny how Ellawood has aged in this. He looks more skeletal. <laughs> Granted, Ellawood was one of my favorite characters in the other Fire Emblem. Yes, we're getting M Merlinus in this, too. He's the same old, same old. He is a carrier, so... Alright. Now I'm going to... Now, this is the thing. I always, at this save game screen... I am going to stop the recording and redo the recording because I've noticed when I did, when I tried to record last night, it failed on me. So I have to do it kind of like the old Hypercam days. So um, you'll see like a quick little twitch. Okay. Now we're on to chapter two. Princess of Burn. This is actually one of my mo uh, this is actually one of my favorites because I actually get one of my favorite um, characters in here. I have five favorite characters in this. None of them have we gotten yet. And I will show you the characters that I'll be getting soon. And I'll let you know when they're my favorite characters. And I'll let you know why, actually. Shoin? This guy thinks he's so great with his pink armor. Or it could be violet, I don't know. <laughs> no, we will not, Merlinus. Whenever have we? <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, Ellen. She pretty much equals out to be Sarah. She's got low magic, but she's got some pretty high luck and resistance to go along with her speed. So she's actually pretty good at um, evasion tanking. She's not bad. And we also got Merlinus. He's the transporter. Obviously, we don't really do anything with him except get stuff out of our storage here. So, let's continue on, move our characters downward. Pretty much we have to just take like a U-shape route up to the castle. It's a pretty straightforward mission, it's pretty easy. One thing that's really nice about this though is they give you an armor slayer right off the bat. So. And we can get Walt some experience here. Good thing about Boars is that his defense is so freaking high initially that he gets hit for nothing here. So that's one really good thing I notice about him. Although usually I don't really like using Boars at all, just because of that fact that his growth rates are pretty bad. But, like I said, I'm going to use them. And Roy leveled up. Level 4, that's not too bad. Wow, that's some good statistics that I like to see. <clears throat> My throat's been a little tingly today, so... Yes! This guy right here, that guy is my favorite character, one of my five favorite characters in this game. His name is Dyak, he is the mercenary that you get at the beginning of the game. Yes, you get more than one mercenary in this game. Alright, so, as a bio on everybody in this little mercenary build, Dyak, he is a very, very well-balanced, perfectly created mercenary. Um, if you guys don't believe me and believe that another mercenary in this game is much better, the only thing I have to say about it is that, yes. Khan, with this character, is so exceptional that we don't need to worry about using blades and affecting our speed. That's why I like this character so much. We don't need to use a constitution ring so that we have to worry about speed reduction from heavy weapons. This is why I like Dayak so much. He is very well balanced, very well made, overall pretty great character. We also have Ward. He's pretty much the Dorcas of the game. He uh, he's very well built for physical hit. He just like if he hits somebody, he's gonna hurt. But the main thing is is that he's not. I, in the other Fire Emblem, I wasn't a huge fan of Dorcas. I I didn't really like him. Lot, however is more like Bartre. He has strength, skill, and speed. He's pretty well balanced. Not as much con as Ward, but still, nonetheless, his speed overcompensates for the lack of one con. So he's very well made. Thani, she is extremely fast, extremely hard to hit, but when she does get hit, she gets hit hard. She doesn't do exceptional damage. She's more for scouting, um, transporting characters. She's more for that type of deal. She, um, she's much like Florina. She has a lot of speed and skill and luck, but not as much on the defensive and attack, uh, offensive side. She's more of the evasion tanker. So, with that said, 
Let's continue on. 